I felt you come out of the traps in the first 10, 15, and no, I was exactly thinking, like, like, wow, all right, we're yeah, going to have to a long night. Um, and then we kind of, like, got a bit of a foothold in the game, and I felt, all right, things are looking comfortable now. And then we made a silly error, and it's Mustafi all over, isn't it? Um, but then after that, got through to half time. Yeah, we, we, you know, the biggest criticism that I've had of us when we've been down to 10 men before is that we don't you know, make it difficult to be broke down. A lot of teams go down to 10 men and they're difficult to break down. Remember when we came here before and we went down to 10 men in the first half, we lost 6-0. Yeah. You see the difference? I felt the substitution at the start of the second half was key for us, taking Ozil off and bringing Gwendozi on. It wasn't the game for Ozil at that point now, so take him off, put some, put some legs in there. And then, um, yeah, we were able to control those, those areas. And even when it went 2-1, it was like we stepped up a gear. You went in your shell and we stepped up a gear. If you look at the two games we've had in the last month, there's not a lot between us. There ain't a lot between us. And we're both sides in transition. New managers, you know, players that the manager may not want and players that the manager may want to get. So it'd be interesting to see where we both are in a year's time. I don't think top four is in our reach. You've got that place at the moment. What is it, 10 points? We're lucky that we've got the get out route, which is the Europa League. And we have got that avenue to try and go into, even though it's going to be more difficult, in my opinion, than the Premier League, because Inter Milan are there, Ajax are there, some big sides. Um, so unless someone else meets them and t takes them out, then it's going to be difficult. But I mean, I'm really happy with the way that things are going under Arteta at the moment. You know, some of the results are not, um, you know, we're not getting some of the points that we may want that the results deserve, but we can see change. You know, if this was a uh, Emery side, for instance, that come in with the way we were playing before Arteta come in, we'd have lost that. You know, and I think you would have beat us comfortably at the Emirates as well. But there is a difference in the side. There's a difference in the mentality and the way that the players are playing. So. I feel that, yeah, it's um, a point game for us and I feel it's two points dropped for Chelsea. I thought, I thought a yellow card was sufficient. I don't think it should have been a red, but then they go against you. But I, they gave everything and if you leave everything on the pitch, you've got to be proud of the team, you know, they gave everything. Uh, probably deserve more than a draw, really, for that performance because, um, but um, yeah, it, it shows a lot of character. That, I mean, a couple, few months ago, we'd have probably lost three or four nil. Yeah, and then, yeah we'd have so, capitulated, wouldn't we? No, nah, it's good character. Is it's that also, down to Arteta, do you think? The yeah. fight that you're seeing at the t in the team at the moment? It's down to everyone. It's down to the players as well. The players have decided, you know, they've woken up and maybe they're fighting for their place and maybe they think that uh, come the end of the season, they want to they wanna be, still be here. So they're going to show the manager, show the coach, Look, I want to be here next season, so maybe they're showing more fight. Mm. You can't, you can't. Um, well, even at two-one down, you could say that you know it would have been, it would have been a big injustice. We shouldn't have lost the, the game at the Emirates, really, to be honest. With you. And no, you've got to be proud of the team, the way they battle back, and uh, it looks good for the future. But, mm. but, but as I say, it's, it's at the end of the day. It's just a draw. At 2 1, was you thinking, oh my God, after all that work we put in, we're going to leave here with nothing? Yeah, I was thinking that, but at the same time, I was also still thinking how proud I was of the second half performance. Mm. Um, fair play to Mustafi for turning it around after he made that horrendous mistake. Mm. Um, the way that Hector played, first time back in a long time. I think that the um, second half substitution by Mikel Arteta was key when he took Mesut Ozil off and brought Gwendozi on. I think at that point he said, this is not Ozil's game. You know, we need legs in there. And we can counter them because we've still got the threat. I thought Lacazette, the only thing missing was a goal. But his work rate was phenomenal. Just the way that we performed in that second half, we didn't deserve to go away from here with nothing. Mm. We didn't because we were the better side, even with 10 men. Mm. I felt that we weathered the storm in the first 20 and then we started to you know, yeah. impose ourselves a little bit. And then a silly error. It was like, when that goal went in, all of a sudden it was like we clicked it up a gear. And we looked like the side with 11, and Chelsea mm. looked like the side with 10. And then when we equalised, it kind of roll reversed again. We looked like the side that did mm. have the 10. And we were like, right, just get out of here with 2-2 two, two now. But mm. that kind of performance 
could do so much for the rest of this season. There's a lot to build on. There's been a lot to build on since he's came in. Mm. You know, the Sheffield United performance is the one standout performance where you can go, wasn't great. Mm. But every other performance, even the one when we lost to Chelsea at the Emirates, you can pick parts of that where you go, really good. Man United, really good. You know, so many performances. And like I said, that could be one where you go at the end of the season, that was the turning point. And yeah, it ain't three points. And I know it's another draw, but given the circumstances, that's a big point. And that's a big morale booster for everybody. And we've got, what, a few days now to just relax, mm. go into a different competition, which kind of relaxes the mind a little bit as well with going into the FA Cup and out of the Premier League. And then, you know, we've got Burnley, and that's going to be another big test going up to there, because mm. you know what style they play. <laughs> A relegation officer, so therefore, <laughs> 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 